Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wang. Here I ask the question. If A and B and C are integers, A times B times C is not equal to zero. A is not equal to C. A over C equals A squared plus B squared over C squared plus B squared. Prove that a squared plus b squared plus c squared cannot be a prime number. This is the given condition. Cross multiplication. We have a times c squared plus b squared equals c times a squared plus b squared. Simplify, we have this equation. We factor the first two terms and the last two terms. We factor b square out for the first two terms. We factor ac out for the last two terms. Factoring A minus C out from the left-hand side, we have A minus C times B squared minus A times C. Because A is not equal to C, A min minus C is not zero. Therefore, B squared minus A C equals zero. This implies AC equals B squared. A squared plus B squared plus C squared. We add one more term between A squared and C squared, which is two times A times C. Then we minus 2ac in the right hand side. These first three terms form a complete square, which is a plus c squared. a times c equals b squared. Here is b squared minus 2b squared, which is negative b squared. This part is the difference of two squares. We apply the formula. Then we have a plus b plus c times a minus b plus c. The left-hand side of this equation is positive because now this A, B, and C is zero. The absolute value of A, the absolute value of B, the absolute value of C is bigger than or equal to one. Therefore, this side is positive. This implies the product in the right-hand side is also positive. That means the two factors have the same sign, positive or negative at the same times. Now we just consider the absolute value of the two factors. What's the basic idea we are going to use to prove this claim? A squared plus B squared plus c squared is a product of two factors. We want to prove each of these two factors is less than the left-hand side. From the given condition, we have this result. Absolute value of A and absolute value of C cannot both be one at the same time. 
y. Now, from this given condition, we can see a over c is positive because the left-hand side is positive. Positive means a and c have the same sign at the same time. If A is positive, C is positive. A is negative, C is negative. This implies A and C cannot be one at the same time. What does this mean? This means if A equals one, C cannot be one. If A equals negative one, C cannot be negative one. This means absolute value of A and absolute value of C cannot be both one at the same time. This is a very important from this result. This means the absolute value of A, absolute value of B, absolute value of C, at least one of them is bigger than or equal to two. Bigger than or equal to two. Any of the number is bigger than or equal to two. It's squared, always bigger than itself. So here is bigger than without equal. By the triangle inequality, Absolute value of x plus absolute value of y plus absolute value of z is big than or equal to absolute value of any linear combination of x, y, z. I mean, positive, negative, positive, negative combinations. Here. Our situation is only plus minus here. So we can use this result to get this result. What does this mean? This means the left-hand side is bigger than without equal. Absolute value of A plus B plus C. The left-hand side is bigger than absolute value of A minus B plus C. We already have this result, A squared plus b squared plus c squared is a product of the two factors. Now, a squared plus b squared plus c squared is bigger than each of the factors of this product. Therefore, a squared plus b squared plus c squared is a product of two smaller factors than itself. Therefore, by definition of prime numbers, a squared plus b squared plus c squared is not a prime number. That's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.